When someone asks you to write your name so they can report you to corporate, do this. I used to work for a car rental company, I won't say which, but the name accurately describes the employee's daily experience working for them. During my time, the company continuously changed policies regarding debit cards for rentals because of the large amount of fraudulent transactions associated with them. This caused much drama with customers, in particular with return customers who hadn't been in since the policy change. Around the end of each school year, many people rent minivans or SUVs to pick up their kid and a bunch of their stuff from college. I had one such customer who did not qualify for the rental vehicle she reserved. Per my training, I was not allowed to rent anything larger than a sedan because she did not have a credit card. When I informed her that I could only give her a Hyundai Elantra, she became enraged. She stated that the previous year she was able to rent a minivan under a debit card, and I informed her that policy had changed since then. She refused to acknowledge that I was doing my job properly. I repeated company policy multiple times and did my best to inform her that I was doing the best I could with the current situation. She refused any attempt I made to placate her. My manager eventually stepped in, and he broke down and did the rental for a SUV, against company policy. The entitled woman smirked at me and pushed a stack of post-it notes that was on the counter in front of me. She said, you should not be in customer service and I'm going to report you to corporate. I want you to write your name on this paper. Without missing a beat, I took the pad and wrote the words, your name, on the top sheet, ripped it off, and handed it to her. Apparently she didn't notice until she was in the parking lot with my manager and her husband to inspect the vehicle. When my manager came back in the office, he said, her husband, who stood silently behind his raging wife throughout the whole interaction, wants me to write you up because you didn't give them your real name, then he started laughing and said, but I'm not going to do shit because you followed the company policy and you did exactly what that bitch asked you to do. She gave us a horrible survey and it tanked our bonus for that quarter but it was totally worth it to put that rude woman in her place. Reminds me a bit about the time when I worked graveyards in a kiosk at a gas station. This super drunk woman came walking up wanting to use the restroom. So I buzzed her in. A few minutes later she came out to tell me how messy the bathroom was, and that she wanted my name so she could call and complain to my manager. So I took a sticky note and wrote, thanks for the great time, Dean, on it. So she walked away with it. The next day I get to work and my manager comes in to talk to me. He asks me if I know anything about a lady who was here the previous night and complained about the bathrooms. I said yes, why? He said she came back that day, and wanted to complain about Dean, and how unprofessional he was. My manager's name was Dean. I just started laughing and so did he. One person has the power to tank a location's bonus for the quarter. Neat. Those surveys are so fucking stupid. They expect five stars on everything from everyone and blame any lost stars on the employees. The company policies are often the issue. Hurts lol. Speaking as someone who has never owned a credit card, I completely understand her frustration. Is really as infuriating that the difference between a credit and debit is enough to throw off a plan, when I'm already handing over license and insurance details. But obviously it's not you who writes the company policy. She was way out of line. If she's gonna call up corporate then the policy should be the topic under discussion, not the poor bugger that has no choice but to enforce it. Sue. Dot you gave her the upgrade and she still shit on you. This is America. Companies fail to provide a service due to poor policy and low-level employees eat the shit. This is not a customer problem, although many customers are fucking tools, but a corporation problem and the worst part is corporate don't give a flying fuck about neither the employee or the customer. God. Fuck customers. Hurts, don't it? You poor thing that your manager shoved you under the bus in front of them before the high five behind the scenes. Typical shit manager. Protect his job at the cost of your humiliation and praise you behind closed doors. Managers who step in to give the customer what they want against company policies are the worst, they're just encouraging them to keep acting this way and abuse low-level employees. Zhu to be clear, you are aware that your boss is a wormy piece of shit who made you look bad in front of a customer and could have cost you your job if he had actually reported you. You followed protocol, your boss did not. You should have started automatically upgrading every rental to an SUV from that point forward on principle thanks to his shining example. At our work any pain in the ass customers, cold callers etc are given the name, Cyril Horshank. When anyone rings, emails etc in asking for, Cyril. We know it's a nuisance call right from the start. Used it for years and it works surprising well tears of joy. One survey tanked the bonus. 
Four positive surveys to counter a negative. Policy changes guaranteed to result in irate guests. Sounds like a feature not a bug. What annoys me is places that don't even try processing it as a credit transaction, just a debit, even though many cards will do both, and then reject it for some reason related only to the debit transaction. It's like they're more interested in fucking with you than earning your custom. We keep rewarding rude people and then are surprised that there are more of them. Did you put her in her place? Sounds like she got the SUV she wanted and you lost your bonus. She gave us a horrible survey and it tanked our bonus for that quarter. So you followed company policy and company punished you for it. Just great. On dear, dear ERAC. Then again I work for the golden cousin. Been there. Had a man tell me to give him my name, because I am, obviously prejudiced against brown people. I happily wrote my full, extremely, obviously, ethnic, brown, name, for him, smiled, and shoved it at him. The poor review is still on Google, and I read it every once in a while, just because I need a smile. Edit, a misspelled word. It tanked our bonus but it was worth it. Bro she took money out of your pocket. She absolutely won and she will probably never think of you again. How was that worth it? Praxis guide. When it comes to surveys, just give everyone a goddamn 10 okay. The company isn't using these to improve shit. They only exist to suppress promised wages by depressing bonus payouts and giving management a reason to rate folks lower in annual reviews. They aren't listening to you Karen. If by in her place, you mean the van that she wanted but shouldn't get, then yes, you've put her in her place. I used to work for a car rental company, I won't say which, but the name accurately describes the employee's daily experience working for them. Dot. Took me a second to figure out you meant Hertz, which is really fucking funny. It's very poor service when a company keeps changing policy and a repeat customer has no idea what to expect when they show up for a service that no longer exists. She gave us a horrible survey and it tanked our bonus for that quarter. So you followed company policy and did everything and still you had been punished by that system. She gave us a horrible survey and it tanked our bonus for that quarter. That should have not affected your pay. This makes the story more sad than anything. In a way she won. I get that you have to cave with some situations, pick your battles, but I really hate it when staff do their best to follow policies put in place, then management goes around them making that staff member look bad. So basically she got what she wanted and you lost your bonus. Next time, just send customers like that out the door before you lose your bonus over a bad review. Honestly in-store customer service jobs should have audio and video of the person you're dealing with that way you can submit that feedback back to corporate. Because honestly the way that woman was treating you was terrible and she should be blacklisted. To be fair, she wasn't ever going to give you a good survey response so you didn't do anything wrong in my book. Years ago I was working at an event venue that was very strict about opening the bar early or keeping it open late for clients. Well, one night we were doing a charity gala and one of the chair's husbands had already been over-served and although the bars were closed and the event was over, he kept trying to get more drinks. He was using the typical, don't you know who I am, stuff but nobody cared. He really started in on one of my best bartenders, named Ed because he wouldn't serve him, and the resulting conversation was pure gold. Remember, this guy was super hammered. Drunk. What's your name? Ed. Gesturing to his name tag that says Ed Mark. Drunk. What's your last name Mark? Ed. It's irrelevant. Drunk. I'm going to get you fired. Mark irrelevant. Stumbles off. I would have pulled a Glengarry Glen Ross and fired back with, you want my name? Fuck you. That's my name. You lost. She got what she wanted and you lost money. I don't think I could work in a place where someone had made it so miserable, only for some spineless manager to come in and give her the W I don't think it'd have been able to stop myself writing, get a fucking grip you spoiled old bitch. While I was still working at my old job a client wanted the name of one of my colleagues so he could make a complaint about him, I gave them my name instead since I had already given my two weeks notice. I'm sure there was a very bad review on me in a survey, which DIDNT make any sense since IDIDNT even worked the same position as the actual guy they were complaining about. Wow. Fuck that manager. The correct response is, my employee correctly followed the company policies. Please make a decision from the available options or leave. Hurts. Cause it hurts. One frustrated customer doing a horrible survey for revenge could tank the bonuses for the entire office. A healthy company shouldn't tie bonuses on customer feedback. Good job though. Your manager made a mistake. When a company will deviate from company policy to satisfy a customer, 
the message needs to come from the person who initially presented the hurdle. In that case, you. In the eyes of the customer, you presented the company policy, they complain and you found a solution to them. Your manager was probably not trained on how to handle clients, unfortunately. Fuck your boss too. People like your boss are the reason people like that act the way they do. They know if they just stomp their feet and scream some, some pathetic, weak-spinned manager will give them exactly what they want. Sounds like the manager undermining you made it look like you'd done an improper job. If they'd backed you and repeated policy she'd have had a consistent experience. Also, don't do what Op said. It's opening you up to being a douche and passive-aggressive and rude. She would have wrote the shitty survey anyways, that bonus was gone from the moment she walked in the door, so don't feel bad about the post-it. You made comedy gold out of a shitty situation. What I'm getting out of this story is that if I don't get what I want from an employee I just scream and berate them until they give me what I want. Absolutely disgraceful on your boss's part. This is exactly why bonuses shouldn't rely on customer surveys, feedback the general public are completely unreasonable and cannot be trusted. Sounds to me like she won, got the car she wanted and tanked your bonus without needing your name. Win-win for her. These are the monsters that are created when managers constantly give them what they want to get them out of their hair. People honestly need to stop doing this. But I'm not going to do shit because you followed the company policy and you did exactly what that bitch asked you to do. He talks a good game when he's back inside but at the counter he threw you under the bus, rewarded CNTY behavior, and got a horrible survey anyway. Always hated how a single survey can tank an entire month. Whoever came up with that terrible math to justify it needs to have continuous punches to the forehead applied until they convince people that it was a stupid idea. I always, always tell them my name. Then I call my supervisor and put him on speaker so we can all have a little chat. The looks I get when they realize I am not afraid of them and their only weapon has no power is priceless. The situation tends to resolve itself after that.